Hey, you welcome to British Cook. For a long time, I said there's nothing better than a nice scone and a bit of clot of cream. Turns out there is. Check this out. And that is a giant scone. Three kilos, Rodder's clot of cream. This is how you make an amazing giant scone, Rodder's Cornish clot of cream at home. Really simple, really easy. Give this a go. It's going to be super, super tasty. Just look at this amazing Cornish clot of cream. Lovely colour on top of that comes from local milk and cream. This Rodder's clot of cream is absolutely to die for. It's fantastic. I'm going to go through the ingredients quite quickly. I've got a much longer video on how to make scones at home if you want all the top tips and all the top tricks and a bit of background information on what the scone is and how it's different to an American biscuit. 700 grams of self-raising flour and I'll put that up in American cup size in a minute. Pop that in there. For this large scone, because we want it to rise a lot, we're using self-raising flour and I'm using a very fine flour, the sort of flour which you use for sponge cakes. And then we're going to be adding some baking powder to it too, to make sure it goes up like a rocket and we put it in the oven. That must be the first time that me and the flour haven't covered each other. Normally it's everywhere. So with the oven on and the flour ready, we're going to cube this up. We need 185 grams of butter. This is local Cornish butter. I've also got a video on how to make butter as well, coming up at the end of this video if you want to make your own butter at home. 185 grams of butter, chopped and cubed. Make sure it's nice and cold when you chop it, it makes it much easier to handle. Next up, to make this go off like a rocket, we're already using self-raising flour, but we're actually going to add 10 whole grams of baking powder to this as well. Personally, I find this sachet baking powder fantastic. It's normally got the right amount you want in it, which is 5 grams. It's very fresh, very easy to use, no bother at all. In the butter goes. You can do this by machine if you really want to, but I just prefer to use my hands. Really easy, it takes about five minutes. It makes you feel like you're actually cooking something. So just keep squeezing that through. So you're squeezing through the butter and the flour through your fingertips. So what we're looking for is nice fine kind of crumb like that. This scone, I was about to say scones then, this one big scone is going to be absolutely delicious. Six tablespoons of caster sugar. Caster sugar is a fine kind of baking sugar. And that is going to be coming up in grams now. Give that a quick stir and mix it all in. Now, I don't know if you realise, but I didn't actually tell you what type of butter you need. You need unsalted butter for this recipe. Reason is we're going to be using soured milk, which comes out a little bit like buttermilk. And we're going to be using, obviously, that extra baking powder. So we don't want it to be too salty. Five grams of baking powder in. Ten grams of baking powder in. Well, isn't that simple? Saves all that messing around trying to weigh out small amounts. So just stir it all in together. Excuse my voice. As I said, my voice is uh, coming and going quite a lot today. Hopefully this scone will make me feel much better. Tip number one, and listen carefully. We're going to preheat the oven. 200 degrees Celsius. That's coming up in Fahrenheit now. Preheat the oven and preheat the pan. So make sure the pan goes in with it too. We want this scone to rise, rise, rise. You can see here I've made a small well inside the flour. That's because what we're going to do now is get 350 mils of milk. I'm using semi-skimmed, but you can use semi-skimmed or full-fat milk. We want the temperature of this milk to be warm. It will really help it rise if it's nice and warm. So I'm going to pop mine in the microwave for about 45 seconds or until I feel it's warm. Okay, the milk's nice and warm. I'm going to be using this vanilla bean paste. I'm going to be using one tablespoon, which is double the amount of my normal scone recipe, plus an actual teaspoon there. Just have a look at this as it comes out though. It's absolutely lovely. And if you want to replace this with normal vanilla extract, just use two tablespoons. We want to put that into the milk there. Goes into the milk. Lovely. Tip number two, a lemon. So the lemon juice goes in with baking powder. Do you remember what happened when you were a child when you mixed lemon juice or vinegar with baking powder? That's right. It used to fizz and shoot up. That's exactly what we're going to do with this. This recipe without the lemon juice just doesn't work. So we're going to squeeze that lemon juice into the milk. It's going to curdle it. Okay, it's going to curdle the milk and it's going to make this go up so quickly. Really worth doing. I don't need a whole half lemon, but nearly. Give it a stir and let that lemon juice do its magic. It's going to look a little bit chunky when it comes out. That's just what we want. Nice chunky milk. Delicious. To mix it all in, I'm going to use something quite unconventional. I'm going to use a fork. And 
and what you want to do is you want to make a soft and sticky dough out of this. This is very soft. I've just put a tiny bit of flour in there to make it easy to handle when it comes to the next part. Let's get this going. Final tip coming up right now. My final tip for this amazing huge scone cake is going to be don't invite anyone around. Eat it all yourself. Really enjoy it. Forget everyone else. Don't worry. They won't miss it. They never knew. Please don't share this video anywhere. Please don't let anyone know about how awesome this is. So can you see the size of that? That's going to be one single scone when I bake it. One very big scone. What I'm going to do now is pull out that preheated pan. And while this is still nice and warm for the milk, I'm going to pop it in there. Here comes the moment of truth. I've put that on a pan so it's easy for me to handle quickly. Let's get this in here as soon as we can. Be careful when you're pushing it down. Just want to give it that nice round kind of scone shape. There we go. Lovely. Look at the size of this huge scone. I'm going to leave this now for at least an hour and a half to cool down. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's going to be an amazing scone. This is a very serious operation. It may take some time. Clearly, there's a very good reason I don't call myself a chef and I'm not a mass chef. It's because I'm not that good at it. But we've cut that roughly in half, okay? Uh, very roughly. I'm going to quickly buff this up slightly and then we'll go jam first. Obviously, being from cool, there's only one way to do this. Jam first. There's one jar there of jam, that's about 340 grams. That's not quite enough jam, is it? Let's chuck another half a jar on there. If you want to know how to make your own strawberry jam at home, I've got a video actually on how to make strawberry jam within about 15 minutes at home. A link telling you exactly how to make your own jam at home within 15 minutes for no special equipment or sterilising equipment, a video of mine coming up at the end of this video. So make sure you take a look at that if you want to make your own jam at home. Next up, we have this delicious clot of cream from Rodders. This is one pound of clot of cream. Guess where this is going? In here, that's right. Rodders have been making traditional Cornish clot of cream since 1890 down in Cornwall. And this stuff sent all over the world. Here comes a magic moment. Oh. Look at that. Just look at that absolutely delicious clot of cream. And if you want to try making your own clot of cream at home, I do have a video on that as well. And a video on what to do with leftovers of clot of cream. And a video about what clot of cream is. It's almost like I love clot of cream. But Rod is, it's fantastic, really worth trying. See it in the shop, buy it. Just look at that. I mean, just look at all that delicious clot of cream. Pound of clot of cream in there. Jar and a half of jam. I'm not quite finished yet. A lot of you might have realised I didn't actually use egg on the top of this. And there's good reason for that. Because guess what? I'm actually going to ice this. Look at this. The jam and the clot of cream is falling out of this. All over the top. Just a thin layer. Give it a bit more sweetness. Look at that. Dear me, what a mess. What a mess. But what tasty mess it's going to be. And the reason I'm putting this on top is because guess what? I got something else to go on top and I want it to stick. That's right, meringue nests. I'm going to put those meringue nests all over there. Oh, I want to explode it a bit. Let's get that all over the top there. And if this is the type of food that you like and enjoy, please click that subscribe button. Or if you're already subscribed, please do me a massive favour and share this video all over the place. Show people how to make a giant scone cake, just like this one.